This video brought to you by Nightwatch, the book currently supporting my camera. Thank you. You've always supported me, Terry Pratchett. Okay, library book haul. I've had kind of a rough week, and I'm out of a job right now, and so I thought, you know what's going to make me feel better is going and getting a bunch of books from the library, something I told myself I wasn't going to do. I have all these books that I need to read. I need to read the books that I've bought, but now I went to the library and got seven books. One was on hold, but like... Okay, first is the one that I am currently reading. This is The Governess Game by Tessa Dare. This is about a woman who is really into science. She accidentally gets hired as the governess to this duke's two young wards. They're young ladies with a lot of attitude. It's kind of like a bit of a sound of music situation. And I was listening to a podcast about Tessa Dare that was The Wicked Wallflowers, so I got excited about reading this book. It was a good find, too, because it just came out. Next is another good romance find. This is The Kiss Quotient. This is about a very successful businesswoman who has either autism or Asperger's, and she hires a young man to help teach her about social interaction, and they end up falling in love, of course. But this is a great Own Voices book. Asian Identities, I don't know if it's Own Voices for the mental health stuff, but a lot of people have given this great reviews, and it's really cool to see romance with people of color in it, so that was another great find. I kicked the stand my camera is on, and now the picture may be different, but that's fine. It's a work in progress here. Next, I'm gonna cry. Um, this is The Pearl Thief by Elizabeth Wayne. This is the prequel to one of my favorite books of the year, Codename Verity. Oh my gosh, I think I'm getting teared up, like, just thinking about it. So I was watching a video of uh, Mackenzie Lee Recommends, and she was saying how Codename Verity was one of her favorite books, and it reminded me that I really need to read the pro. This is about a young woman named Julie from Scotland. I'm gonna cry, holy shit. Um, oh my god. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Wow. And I think she is revealed to be bi in this book. She and her brother Jamie meet these two um, Irish traveling uh, siblings, and I think she falls in love with both of them. Oh man, I don't think this book is going to be sad, but Cody Verity is. I need to collect myself. Alright, after getting a tissue and adjusting the camera again, we're back. Let's just not discuss that ever again. <clears throat> Next is The Just City by Joe Walton. I recently read Joe Walton's collected columns from Tor.com about revisiting the Hugo Awards, and so I got interested in her as a writer. This is about... it's kind of a weird concept. So it's this city created by a Greek or Roman goddess that is several thousand children and several hundred teachers to teach them from all over history, and I think it's gonna be wacky and cool, and I just picked it up because I like Joe Walton. Next, I don't know what this is about. This is just a romance novel that I picked up by Mary Jo Putney. It's called Sometimes a Rogue. See, I'm just dipping my toe into the romance genre and I'm learning that I really like the rogue characters. Oh right, um, this uh, lady, she gets kidnapped in place of her twin and then this guy saves her and they go on adventures. So I really like the adventure aspect of it and so I'm excited about that. Stay tuned for a video about romance novels coming soon. This is also going to give me codename Verity Feels. This is The Woman in the Castle. I just looked up some list online that was like, books about women during World War II, because that's my jam. My dad is one of those guys that is like the history major who only likes World War II, so as annoying as that is, a lot of his love of World War II has rubbed off on me, but I'm really interested in the female aspect of World War II and women pilots, Rosie the Riveter, um, bomb girls, stuff like that. So this book is about several different women all escaping the war who have converged in this one castle. And last was a book that I had on hold. This was recommended to me by a co-worker. It's a children's book called Rad American Women A to Z. I haven't even uh, skimmed through it yet, but as I said, really excited about women's history, so I'm excited for this. I just love women's history books for kids, because, you know, getting them started early. <sighs> okay, that's all I have for you. There was emotions, there were tears, unfortunately. There was another Terry Pratchett reference. I'm sorry to keep doing this to you. You know, I might just go the whole hog and do a 41 installment video series where I just reread all the Discworld books. They're always right here above my left shoulder. I would just love to ramble on about Discworld for hours on end, so maybe I'll do that. 
please remember to like and subscribe. My last library haul video got a bunch of views, so I'm hoping this one does too. I'll keep doing them if you keep watching them, so give me a, a thumbs up. It looks like this. It's right down there. Don't, don't press that one. Press this one. Okay, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.